All right, guys, we're back here again with another deckless video. And this time, the deck is coming out of Japan, and it is the Flareon GX deck. Um, <clears throat> being fire, you know, I like fire decks, and uh, start off with uh, uh, four Eevee with that energy evolution. Uh, attach, uh, attach energy, and whatever energy you attach, you search for that evolution of Eevee. You know, if it's uh, water, you search for water evolution. If it's fire, you search for fire. In this case, it's Flareon GX. Uh, pardon these two, they're, they are proxies. I apparently do not have four energy evolution EVs. I thought I did, and maybe I've traded them away. I don't know. Uh, next up, we have the new Flareon GX. Now, this card is not out in the US yet, so these are proxies, but um, it's a pretty awesome card. For one fire energy, does 30 damage and you get to attach three fire energy cards from your hand to your Pokemon in any way you like. And what that means is if you're attaching to Eevee, because of energy evolution Eevee, it says when you attach from an energy card from your hand to this Pokemon, you may search your deck for evolution card. Um, what that means is with this uh, Eevee, you get to attach fire energies. I mean, with this Flareon, you get to attach fire energies and evolve them on the same turn. So I get, I get an Eevee out, evolve him into Flareon, and then I've got three more EVs back here. I use its a GX. I use its main attack for 30 damage, one fire energy. Attach three energies, fire energies from my hand to that Pokemon, and they're up and ready to go. They can. I search for the three Flareon GXs and evolve them, and we're ready to go. But this card is pretty awesome. For two fire energies and one colorless energy, it does 190 damage. You do have to discard two fire energies from this Pokemon though to use that attack. And its GX attack is one fire energy. It does 20 damage times the amount of, of energies in your discard, fire energies in your discard pile. So if I have nine fire energy in my discard, I am doing 180 damage. Put a choice band on there and you're hitting 210, which is Zorark range. So that's just a, it's just a great card. Um, it's going to be a big boost to a lot of fire decks just for that first attack alone. And next up, we have Reshiram GX, and I've featured this card on my channel before in my Ho-Oh decks. For one colorless energy, search your deck for two fire energy cards and attach them to this Pokemon, and then shuffle your deck. If you start turn one with Reshiram, that attack is great. Turn two, I mean, if you go second, you get to attack by attaching two fire energies. It's basically a guaranteed Kiawe for if you go second. If you go first, Callaway of course is still better because then you have to wait a turn and it just get really awkward. Uh, second attack is three fire energies, one colorless, scorching column, 110 damage. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned. Uh, the GX attack is what we're really going for. It's three, three fire energy, one colorless, colorless energy called Vermilion GX does 180 damage so with choice band you're doing 210 so that's a great knockout on the GX of Pokemon you may attach up to fire up to five fire energy cards from your hand to your Pokemon in any way you like so because it's attached from hand that means you can attach to your EVs and then you get to use their ability to search out Flareon GX's and evolve your EV straight away that's all right off of turn that's right off of turn turn one or turn two as it is uh, next up, we have a Victini Prism Star, and this is the exact same. This attack is the exact same attack as 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 uh, Flareon GX's attack, only for two Fire Energies, and it says 20 damage times the amount of energy cards in your discard pile. It doesn't say Fire Energy; it says Energy Card. So you're looking at nine energy cards. You're looking at 120 damage or 180 damage with a Choice Band that's 210, only with um, Victini Prism Star. <clears throat> it says you have to shuffle all of those energy cards back into your deck. So if you got nine in the discard and you put them back into your deck, and that's great if you are uh, running low on energies and need them. Next up, we have one Marshadow. That's for that let loose. Shuffle each player shuffles their hand into their deck and draws out four cards. It's great disruption. Next up, we have Oranguru for that ability instruct. If you have three, three. If you have less than three cards in your hand, you get to draw up to three. And then next, we have of course one Tapu Lele because you can't have a deck without Tapu Lele, from my experience. And then next on trainer cards is, or um, I'm sorry, supporter cards. On our supporter cards, we have four, four Cynthia for that draw. Um, you know, shuffle your hand in, draw out six. It's great, great shuffle draw, great. It's great all around. Next up, we have three Guzma for that switching ability. Um, you need to get something out of the active, that's how you did it. You need to drag something into the active, that's how you do it. 
Next up we have Two Lily. These are great for turn one. You can get eight cards if you go if you uh, if you uh, if you play that turn one, you get eight cards in hand, and you just you just can't beat that in any way. Next up, we have two Ace Arola. Get it to focus here. Where is it? There it is. Get it to focus. There we go. Two Ace Arola with that uh, turn one attack on Flurry on GX. You're doing 30 damage, one energy. You get hit back. Say you're you got hit for 190 or maybe a buzz wall hits you for 80 or something, you just ace a roll of that thing up and take all the damage away and you don't have to worry about it. Next up, we have two Kiawe. Four fire, uh, get to start your deck for four fire energies and your turn ends, and that is for Rush Ram. You know, just in case you start it, start that Lele, start that Ultra Ball, whatever it is, it's gonna happen, It's and you can't beat turn one Kiawe for that. Next up, we have a new card out of uh, um, the new team up. It is Bill's Analysis, and what this card says is search your deck, or look uh, at the top seven cards of your deck. You may choose two item cards there and put them into your hand. So it's pretty uh, pretty powerful. As you see in a minute, we gotta get a bunch of, uh, we got a bunch of ways to get energies now into our hand. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, next up is the item cards for that Flareon GX attack and that um, Rush Ram GX attack. Next up we have four Ultra Balls, just searching out those Pokemon. Uh, after that we have four Fiery Flint, and y'all have seen this on my channel also with Rush Ram. And what that does is discard two cards from your hand, search your deck for four energy, four Fire Energy cards, and uh, put them in your hand. And what that does is it enables Rush Ram's GX attack to be able to be able to pretty much search out your energies whenever you need them so that you can attach them to you know, attach them with that GX attack, or with uh, Flareon's first attack for the 30 damage, attach three fire energies from your hand. This allows you to get those fire energies pretty consistently. Next, we have three Nest Balls for searching out those basics. Uh, two Choice Band, a little bit of damage modifier there to uh, help get um, help get those numbers up. You're hitting 210 with Rush Around with its GX and 220 with. Flareon because it does 190 base. Next up we have two energy recycle. Put two basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. Uh, those are great for middle of the game and you're needing to hit with that first attack with Flareon. You get the two two extra energies to attach. Next up we have two Potown. Whenever a player plays a Pokemon from their hand to evolve one of their Pokemon, put three damage counters on it. This does not count for Eevee because you're not evolving from your hand, you're evolving from the deck. You attach an energy, then you search your deck for the Pokemon and put it on and evolve it. So those uh, damage counters don't apply. Next we have one Heat Factory Prism Star for that discard of fire energy, draw three cards. You just can't do any better than that in fire decks. I'll scoot that up just a little bit. And next we have one Rescue Stretcher. Sometimes late game you need to get stuff out. And one Fill Blower just to get rid of those uh, the opponent's tools and all that. Let's kind of move this over. Maybe there's stadiums, you know. There's going to be some new stadiums coming out in the new new set. Maybe we just want to be able to get rid of them. And next we have our fire energies, and there are 13. So we got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen fire energies. And it seems to be a pretty good number. You just got to remember when you're getting low on fire energies to be able to attach to Victini Prism Star so that you can hit for those big numbers. And you also have uh, the GX attack of Flareon does the same thing and you're hitting for, for pretty big numbers. You've got 13 in the discard, you're hitting for massive numbers. Um, of course one of them, two, one or two of them will be attached to one of your Pokemon. But anyway, it uh, seems to be a pretty good deck. I can't wait to try it out once these cards come out here this month. and. Uh, hopefully be able to do some uh, videos on it maybe some testing videos and stuff like that but if you uh, um, I hope you all like this video uh, don't forget to subscribe and, and give me a like